I am going to be sealing a table here. I hope we like this. It's an old picnic table we found by the dumpster and it's been out there for a long time and then some people are gonna throw it away. So me and Michael decided to restore it. Just wanna get any moisture out of it. So we're just gonna quickly light it on fire. No, really don't ever do this kids. This is 99% isopropyl alcohol and it'll soak into anything with moisture in it. So anything moist that you spray alcohol on, it'll dry it out. Um, and it evaporates without leaving a residue, so it doesn't affect the epoxy. So we're gonna see if, as long as we can get this nice and dry, we have some real pretty epoxy. We're gonna seal this up. I did sand it all. This was an old, nasty, falling apart cobwebs on that table. So I just want no moisture whatsoever. I'm, I know it is pretty dry, but it did sit by our dumpster for three years. I believe so. Hello, oh, Laura. Laura said, "Hey, hey, Lauren. Good to see you. Where are y'all watching from today? Are we on? Which one do you have in your hand? I have TikTok in my hand. We Michael has TikTok in his hand, and we have YouTube up on the stand. Let us know if you have any questions, guys. There we are. A little knot here. We'll get that. We'll get to work now. Sorry, I took so long playing around there." I'm trying to make sure this stays dry. All right, I got my epoxy. I'm gonna start out with just a brush and a foam roller. And I don't want any, I don't want a ton of excess on here. So as you see, I have a very thinned out, it's our countertop product. I did thin it with acetone, so it would soak into the wood here. And my goal here is not to just pour it out, it's to get as much down as possible and really work it in. I don't want any excess on the top. One big mistake people make when sealing any kind of wood is they just put way too much product down and then they get air bubbles. They're fighting with those. I'm just gonna really take my time and work in each section here. Yes, we're on both. Yep. Yeah, we are on YouTube and TikTok, so check us out. We're really, we've been kind of shadow banned on TikTok quite a bit lately, so I never even believed that was a thing. People would say that and I'm like, no, but people just don't like you. But now maybe nobody likes us or we're really getting shadow banned, I don't know. So thank you for being here. Thanks for following us. All right. Yeah. We are gonna be doing true metal on this and probably putting actually copper into all our cracks and fractures, but I wanna be able to seal it up first. And I want this seal coat to really um, be basically rock hard and totally penetrating all this wood. Look at all those air bubbles on that. Oh, Laura said, so I had someone ask me if a porch deck could be done with epoxy. Definitely, just like this, Laura. We actually have a different product. It's called UltraFlex Resin. We'd probably use that instead. But Man, there's, there's some gaps and cracks in this thing. Now, my goal is not to just wipe it across the top. A lot of people just want to take a squeegee or a putty knife and just scrape the top. But remember, your job is to really soak this in. This is where all the strength, that's what, this is what's gonna make this table last 20 more years instead of a, being a dumpster baby right now. So let's try to get this sealed as well as we can. You'll notice some spots on it are just completely drying out. So instead on. of being a, a matter baby? A matter, <laughs> every baby's a matter baby, like the most. And I remember when I was young, I'd be like, I always liked kids. I always thought kids were cool. But man, now that, now that I have kids, like every baby I see has some kind of beauty to them. Even the ugly ones, so. I was an ugly baby and I know at least Jesus loved me, so. No, I was a pretty damn good looking baby. That's what my babysitter used to tell me a lot. No, I'm not joking about that too. What are y'all planning for this weekend? Hola. What kind of projects? Hola. Como esta? Thank you for being here. Where are you guys watching from? We're in Grand Junction, Colorado. That's the western side of the state. And we're kind of getting a project ready for next week's class. This is going to be something that they're going to be finishing in next week's advanced um, countertop class that we have. We have a three-day class here in Grand Junction, Colorado. We still have some spots open for it, too. We keep those classes kind of smaller so we can have hands-on so everybody can actually have a chance at working on the projects. So. Oh, look at that. This is like totally dry, but that's all epoxy soaked into that. And I'm loving that blue hue. What do you guys think of that slight blue hue in it? 
Are you using countertop epoxy on the table? This is countertop epoxy, yes. It is. Living Aloha, hello. Living Aloha. How you doing, Living Aloha? Sounds like a good way to live. Lori's gonna be making a video for the beach wave, finally. Oh, what? Who's doing this, Clarence? Uh, Laura. Laura. I wanna see this, Laura. I wanna see your beach waves, Laura. You gotta show us this video. I am not the best at beach waves, let me tell you. I've never been very good with anything with, to do with beaches. Okay, like I say, we're just trying to soak as much of this epoxy in as possible. And we really thin this out because we want it just, we don't want air bubbles, we don't want any of the setting up on the surface. We want as much of this possible worked into the wood. One thing we do, um, a lot of times, as you saw before I started this, I was spraying it with alcohol, and I'd sprayed it with just alcohol a few times and let it just evaporate out as well. Because alcohol, especially, make sure it's a high percentage alcohol, like 99% isopropyl, um, it'll really adsorb moisture right out of your planks of wood, cement, whatever. And that's really important prior to putting epoxy on it. So remember that alcohol is an adsorb and it'll actually, it will actually draw moisture to itself. But the acetone's kind of a little bit different. It can still mix with water, but it's not necessarily an ads adsorbent to water. So it's really cool to be able to pull your moisture out using the alcohol and then mix a little acetone in to your actual epoxy and seal it really, really well and have that deal with the moisture on, it, so on its own. So I may even come pour some more back up on here and work some more in. There's no reason not to. I bet you I have some pretty blue cowboy boots here in a second. But, oh, look at that, I do, I do. What was the chances of me getting out of this without getting my boots dirty? Zero. Is oh, Laura's gonna do, put it on YouTube, but it'll probably be unedited. Laura? I wanna see an unedited YouTube video of yours. Um, but you, everybody, everybody should watch that. Make sure you share with us too. We'll, I'll share that. Oh, Living Aloha said, so 91% is not good. Yeah, 90, 91, you still got that 9% um, water. So remember, you're just putting a little more water right back into your surface when you run that 90, um, 91 versus 99. So just, you want as pure as possible with no possible residue in there, so. Oh man, look at this, this is good shiz. I don't know, man, am I just gonna leave my boot sealed with epoxy here? Or should I? Did you get it? Should I change? Got it, it on your boot? Oh, oh no! I might wipe this off real quick. Yeah. Folks. Can I wipe epoxy off a boot? Yes, I can. And now I get asked all the time, can I spray epoxy? Well, shit. How the hell do I know? I've never sprayed my countertop resin. However, this morning I did do something. I'm not gonna set that on a sandy table. I did mix so much acetone in with this product that I decided I was gonna try something for y'all. So, look at that. Did I forget that bench? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Levy, corn stalk. Don't forget your job. All right, sorry. I was just about to turn this table over when I remembered I still had work to do. What color are you using? Oh, this Caribbean. is this is Caribbean, guys. Caribbean metallic powder, just beautiful. Probably my, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's up there. It is up there. Hi, Michael. Hi, Sound of Souls. Sound of Souls. Sharing you know who's holding that holding. camera, huh? <laughs> Dude, Michael's a badass, and he, if you haven't seen his actual lives, then you haven't seen a live. I know. We'll get him a second mic for you, YouTube, we'll guys. I'll try to speak a little louder for my YouTube audience. I apologize. Everybody on TikTok just fell off the couch now. They're like, oh, shit, I had my volume up. I kind of mumble and talk low anyway, so if I'm mumbling, just be like, hey, Levi, get the mumble out of your mouth. Stop bobbing. I know I get, I get too quiet. I have horrible hearing, so I'm always wondering if I'm too loud, so try to talk quietly. Lena sent a finger heart. Who did? Lena. Lena? Yeah. Thank, thank you for you. the finger heart, Lena. I love finger hearts. 
No. I love the people on here that are our supporters, and thank you for your support. Now, remember, we're just sealing this up. This is an old dumpster find out, <laughs> my own dumpster behind the building. It was me and Michael found it, but we, it had been sitting out there. And then when we realized somebody was about to toss it, we decided to give it a new life, a new birth with a little bit of epoxy. We're going to seal it first, and then we're going to be putting some um, gold or some kind of badass color. Um, into all the fractures, so this should be fun. All right, I'm gonna make a mess now, I'm guessing. <laughs> Laura said, open your mouth, sir. <laughs> open your mouth, sir, I do need to. My dad used to always tell me when I was a kid, like, stop, stop, um, but he always said, I always mumbled. He'd be like, stop mumbling. I always spoke quiet. Okay, <laughs> am I spraying epoxy? Yes, I am. Am I spraying it kind of over spraying on stuff? Probably. Do I care? Nope, because this is pretty fun. So this is our countertop epoxy. Oh my goodness. Uh, gonna have to. You know what? I just won't walk very far without cleaning my boots. Okay, that's nice. I have never been able to spray a countertop product. And that is fun to be able to seal this table up like this. So this is cut with 20% acetone. And remember, I wouldn't want anything excessive on here because this is just exactly what it's called, a seal coat. My goal is just to seal the wood, not have a, a shellac coating on it or anything. I can stop it anytime I want to, cross roll this in, soak up any excess. Blue October, Blue October said, get the marbles out of your mouth, sir. Get the, I love marbles, get the marbles out of your mouth. I'll try to speak a little better, sorry about that. It's weird talking to a live camera too, because now I, now I kind of know you guys, some of you. I don't know everybody out there, of course, but I've gotten to know a lot of our followers, so. Um, they want to know what product is this? This is our countertop product that we have thinned 20% with acetone. It's an amazing resin, and we have made an actual sprayable seal coat out of it. So imagine that, I've never even seen this. I've never done it. I've never seen anybody do this. Doesn't mean it's successful. Just because I invented something doesn't mean I didn't just invent the latest turd. But we'll see. I think it's working out pretty well. The biggest thing I want is all this just to be very saturated with epoxy and for it to totally cure so that when we walk in on Monday morning, we have something we can really work with, not stress about having air bubbles come out or have moisture come up from below. We're probably gonna put this outside and knowing me, I'm not going to move it back inside for winter time or anything. I'll let snow sit on it. And I'll just want to know this is as sealed up as possible before I do that. Oop, a garden know. sprayer would be faster, Joe. A garden sprayer would be, but you know what? Since I'd never done this, I thought I was probably just pouring a bunch of crap in a sprayer that would be the last time a sprayer ever you worked. Do we have that funnel? Yeah, right here. Michael knew what I was looking for. Do you want me to help you? No, no, I got this. Ah, I got this. Just because I'm dropping stuff doesn't mean I don't have it. All right. Is it like Rubio? Is it like what? Rubio. Rubio. Or, yeah, R-U-B-I-O. I don't know. No, that, I think that's more of a wax, if I'm correct with what you're asking about. This is definitely epoxy that has been thinned with acetone, so quite a bit different. But this will harden like crazy as soon as we let that as soon as we let this cure. So give this about 24 hours. The acetone's gonna evaporate out. This is gonna be a very sealed. Oh, the Topaz twins are here. What's that? Topaz, Topaz twins? twins um, Dude, what's the, in the Topaz sprayer? twins just did the prettiest, um, um, what do you call it, daisy that I've ever seen that they actually get caps. You guys are, I don't know if you're actually twins or if that's just you and your friends or what. You guys are get badasses and everything you do is like amazing, so. Hope you guys join us in like London or one of our. He's Italy spraying or our uh, countertop with countertop epoxy, thinned with acetone, just to seal the bottom side of our picnic tables here. Here, so. Um. Dude, the sun dudes. will help it dry faster. Um. Yeah, the sun would, I guess, just due to heat probably, but I don't want anything sticking in it, so I'll leave it in here and just leave it warm enough so it just cures on its own naturally. Could you have mixed it with mineral spirits? 
No, acetone, definitely acetone or xylene, and I always choose acetone because it evaporates off and it's much, le much less toxic than xylene. That's why I choose to always use um, acetone. So if you, if you come to class, I'll show you a few times when we would mix other chemicals and exactly why, but there should always be a purpose when you're mixing any kind of nasty chemical, in my opinion. The Topaz twin said, ha ha, yep, identical twins. Thanks, Levi. What? You're, I always wondered your name. I was like, I wonder if her and her sister or maybe your non-identical brother. I didn't know. Uh-oh. I was told YouTube what? was frozen. We're frozen? Uh. I'm doing the robato over there. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Laura. Sorry, YouTube. Oh, it's the battery. Oh, it's uh -oh. the battery. Sorry my battery died, guys. How awesome different. is that? They have two identical twins. I have three kids and they're all amazing. I can't imagine taking care of two of them at the exact same stage though. I'm really just trying to get all the dry wood. I'm looking for anything that's dry and unsealed. So this is going to add so much strength to this. It's kind of, it's all reeky. Oh, Soretti's here. Soretti, welcome. Sharon, Sharon are live again. Thank you. Look at all Thank you, shit Sharon, shit. for sharing our live again. You guys are always, we have better followers than I think anybody. Any of whatever success we have, it's so much in part to so many of y'all. Okay, now I'm going to do something kind of fun, I hope. I hope I don't mess this up. But I'm going to spray this with a little bit of actual metallic colors. I am trying to put just a little bit of a mess down because my most of my decoration, I only really want on the two benches and the top board, but I want a little more epoxy in there before I do it. Dude, this, this classroom has to be off limits for like 24 hours now. This is like overspray. Everybody's like thinking of coming to one of my classes until you see me do some dumb shit like that. Like, he just poured acetone and epoxy and sprayed it on everything. Soretti said, do you remember me? I'm from Ethiopia. Ethiopia, thank you, Soretti. Yes. You do remember me. Thank you. Thanks for being back on our channel. Oh. No, that's not slippery at all. Okay, that was probably the messiest just job I've ever just intentionally done walking in epoxy, so getting a little bit. I don't want to keep just doing that. Okay, now I'm going to grab my gold spray. Uh, oh, it's right there. Right. Gold is there. It's right next to it. Where is it? Oh, it is. Oh, maybe that's a translucent gold over there. Oh yeah, shimmer gold right there. Never hurt no one. What are you making? I am just fixing up an old picnic table that we found over by the trash can. I kept wanting to do something to it. And it looked like some people were about to toss it to the trash, so me and Michael tried to save it. So now I'm adding some alcohol to my bottle so I can spray some gold out. We're gonna mix a little bit of colors here. Let them get sprayed, this is gonna be really pretty. This is very fun, and thank you guys for joining today. I hope you guys aren't bored to death. I promise, I promise to be quick with this next portion. Big Back said that table's going to come out looking really nice when you're done. Thank you, Big Back. Look at that, it's already, it looks like Gaddafi's table right now. Saddam Hussein's gonna stop by and pick it up if I keep spraying gold on it. Broken needle embroidery, hello. Broken needle embroidery, thank you for being here. Hello. 
<laughs> Redneck asshole. Redneck <laughs> asshole. Hey, man. I like your name. What a name. We like your name there, Redneck <laughs> asshole. At least That's you warn a... At least you warn somebody. Translucent red. Yes, just a little shimmer in there. Don't you think that'll be a, I don't know. Nice Maybe I'm gonna finish it off with gold again too. I don't know. You guys let be the judge of this. I want this to look pretty cool before I fill all the fractures. You're only gonna see a bit of this too. So I'm trying to be pretty heavy with this because I'm gonna sand this again and it'll take away a, a large part of what I'm doing. It's gonna disappear. So I want a lot of it down. We might show you my desk and show you kind of a, an idea of what I'm going for in a second too, so. Um, broken needle embroidery, can you? All I see on my end is countertop epoxy hats. You can see it now. Or an embroidered man apron. An embroidered man apron? Where's that at? I want an embroidered man apron. Dude, red rose veins going down. Oh, vines, sorry. Red rose vines. Oh man, if I knew how to do that, I would. Not sure exactly how I'd do that. There's a bunch of colors over here too, sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, we got, we got our spray colors here. I'm gonna be kinda a little over the top oh, here, guys. I might do sorry. some stuff I don't normally recommend, as you can hear. <laughs> Levi always has the best t-shirts. Oh. Yeah, but it's a Christian message. Kill them with kindness. I really believe in just always sending a good message to, to the children out here today. So God bless you guys. <laughs> like I said, I don't always use spray paint, but I want a little bit of just popping, contrasting colors. And remember, I'm going to be sanding all this off too. So if I just get a little bit in here, that Why sticks, not just that's use all I need. Colored epoxy. I did use some colored epoxy. There was actually some blue in there too. We're gonna sand back through this though and get like a very layered effect. Come to a class and we'll do this with you. Maybe that's why I don't use paint. Um, ah. Apparently I'm not a spray paint expert. The taupe has twins. I've learned more from Levi and the countertop epoxy crew than all of YouTube or any anywhere combined. Taupe has twins, thank, thank you. you just for all your support, man. That's badass, I appreciate that a lot. We definitely work hard to try to bring value and content to everybody out there. You know, I, I got so annoyed at going to classes because I went to a lot of epoxy classes and different things before I started my own company back like 12 years ago, 13 years ago. And I feel like everybody just, they wanted your money, but they didn't really care if you succeeded or what you did. And man, I, as soon as you spent money on them, you were dead to them. Nothing was ever science. They were always just trying to sell you like a, a fast fix to something or whatever. And it really became my passion to understand, you know, curing times and reactions and what made a resin flexible or shock resistant or clear. And that's kind of what I've spent most of my time doing since then. Let's see if it feels like working now. Just wanted like a little mist on this, just a little bit of a red. Remember, I'm sanding all this off too, so it's going to leave just a really, uh, faint part piece of what you see right now. You don't, you're not going to see it very in detail anyway, so you have to go a little overboard if you want to see any when you sand. And just a little bit of fog, nothing, nothing too crazy. pretty colors going down anyways. Can't wait to see this Monday morning. We'll have a pretty t picnic table. But then we'll need to finish it with y'all. Oh, this poor bench over here is starting to feel left out.
Okay, that's where we stop. It's helping me be artistic by not letting me spray as much as I want. Okay, that's nice. Just a little bit of that red in there. I want this to almost look like a fresh redwood with like copper fractures when I'm done. so much for your support on that one. I think we're about done for a moment. I may back roll some of this really quick just to see. Yeah. Just to work. I don't want any excess setting up on the surface here. So, you know, I don't want any puddles. Nothing that a bubble could get stuck in. So, I'm really chasing all those little wet spots, the shiny spots. If you see something shiny that you know is, has wet standing <laughs> epoxy or alcohol, just take a roller like this and just mop that excess up, so. Um, now light it on fire for that urban look. <laughs> light it on fire. That's, yeah, I just want me to burn my piece. This isn't Burning Man every day. I do light too much stuff on fire in here. Look at that. I don't know. This started out of a pretty shit table. So, whoop, sorry, I shouldn't have said it like that. Started out as a dumpster dive find, though, so. That's not the ugliest table I ever saw. What do you think, Michael? I like it. I think it's gonna look awesome when you sand it, and. I think it's gonna look gorgeous. We finish it. I'm spraying a little bit. I wanna, I wanna get some of this overspray of gold off. So all I'm doing is spraying a little bit of of just 99% isopropyl right over it, and it'll wash off any of the overspray gold. That looks really good. Oh, and look at this. I have this whole end that I forgot to seal. Because it was, of course. Apparently I'm not a picnic table expert either, guys. <laughs> was any going over there? Hmm? Was this going that far? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I was spraying you, I'm sorry. I was out of the way. I'm like so focused on the leg and it won't go on it that I'm not looking at how hard I'm working to spray it on you. I like the narrative commentary like Bob Ross. Thank you guys for... I like it, nothing I is love ever you guys. perfect, true. Say what? I like it, nothing is ever perfect. Dude, nothing's perfect, except, Jesus. John said I would like to do do my laminate countertops. Do you have a step-by-step -step video? We do have a lot of step-by-step -step videos. Definitely call our office if you want to, um, and they'll send you exactly which products, which videos, everything that you need to go, whether you're covering laminate, Corian, we have quite a few different ones. So check out our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is definitely growing quite a bit, and mostly just because of all the TikTok censorship. Sorry, TikTok, but that's true. So. I love TikTok, but since our government's freaking out about it, we have to know that we're probably gonna keep getting censored on it and not not get too upset about it. So, so we're just trying to put everything of ours over to YouTube as we speak. So, yeah, sure. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I know this is a Friday and probably a slow day for you guys. I hope it is. I hope you have an awesome weekend. Thanks for joining us for the live. We have a really fun class coming up next week where we'll be finishing these tables, some countertops, and I hope to see some of you guys in a class soon. So come out, join a class of ours in Florida, Grand Junction, London, Africa, Italy. Um, you decide. Um, and God bless you guys. Have an amazing weekend. Bye.